So Lisa just got a new skin and understandably, a few of you are going to consider building it and make use of it. So let's look at some teams she works in. I think Lisa's a lot better with the introduction of Dendro and she works at C0 so she's worth the investment. I like both skins so I'm going to show both of them off in this video. First we'll look at Quicken teams. There are a bunch of different options for in Quicken teams, but assuming you only have C0 and don't have enough resin to level everything up, we'll look at her as an off-field support. You only need to level a burst, give her a thrilling tails and some energy recharge and you're good to go. Fischl gives a lot of energy and Zhongli can hold Favonius Lance if you need any more. Lisa's passive shreds defense so even if you don't have a great build for her she can get value just by being leveled. Zhongli makes his team more comfortable for the abyss but if you're in a situation where you don't need a shield or healer you can use Al Haytham for extra damage. The extra EM from the Dendro Resonance is nice too, and will benefit everyone in the team. You could even use Yao Yao if you got her from a Lantern Rite event. Alternatively, if you have Diona C6, you could use her and get 200 extra EM. Another way that Dendro improved Lisa is by introducing Hyper Bloom. For Hyper Bloom, you don't need attack or crit, all you need is EM and enough energy recharge to get a burst off. Given the fact she ascends with EM, and there are free to play options like the craftable map and mare of the Free Star Magic Guide, it's not difficult to get a thousand EM. If you're struggling to get a burst back though, I don't think there's any harm in giving her some energy recharge at the expense of EM. The Hakushin Ring is craftable, and you'll be able to give the team extra Electro and Dendro damage with its passive. That's not too big of a damage boost here given the fact the team only has one of each, but it's better than nothing and swapping your land out for an extra Dendro or Electro character will mean the Hakushin Ring gives even more value. Personally, I prefer Cookie as the Hyper Bloom trigger for the comfort that she offers, but using Lisa instead gives the team more damage, and is definitely one I'd recommend if you plan on building her. It may even be her strongest team. If you don't have Nahida and Yolan on your account though, and you want something a little more free to play friendly, you could go with this. Obviously the damage isn't as good, but you get to save your primo gems and it's a lot comfier because of Barbara. You'd build Lisa the exact same way, but you'd give Dendro MC the 4 piece deep wood instead of Nahida. Dendro MC's C6 will give a Dendro damage buff to the on-field character, as well as an elemental damage buff for the element absorbed by the burst. On top of all this, Barbara can hold the thrilling tails to give an attack buff to whoever you want. Kokomi would be better if you have her for the extra hydro application, but Barbara works fine. Also, if you plan to pull your LAN, not only does she work well with Lisa, she works in a bunch of teams. I'll be dropping a similar video for her soon, so if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. Now on to the next team. Before Dendro, my favourite way to use Lisa was in Taser teams. There are a lot of options with Hydro and Electro having some of the best characters in the game, and you can also throw in an Animo unit for crowd control and resistance shred. I like to give Lisa the Hakusha ring here to buff all the Hydro and Electro characters, as well as easing the energy requirements, but you can give her crit weapons and they work well too. Given the fact we're using Sing Cho and Beidou, I don't use Lisa's hold attack mechanic with her skill very often because I want to trigger her teammates attacks as often as possible. If you wanted to use Lisa's skill more often though, you could use Yai, Fischl or Ayato instead. I just find it has better value in Quicken teams. Another thing I like about this team is that Sing Cho and Beidou can keep the team alive without the need for a dedicated healer. Another pre-Dendro team is this overloaded one. To be honest, Kazuha, Shangling and Bennett are so strong, you could probably pair them with anyone and they'll be good. Lisa bringing the Defense Shred and Electro application is a solid choice though, and if you have these characters built, I definitely recommend giving this team a go. You could give Lisa the Hakushin Ring for the buff to Electro and Pyro, or you could give her Thrilling Tails to buff Shangling. You could even swap Shangling out for Raiden. If Kazuha's burst is infused with Pyro from Bennett's burst, you'll have enough pyro applications to not need Shangling. Raiden will help a lot with Lisa's energy requirements if you did choose to go with her, and she'll increase Lisa's burst damage with the buff from her skill. And another team you could use Raiden and Lisa together in is Mono Electro. This one isn't as meta as some of the earlier teams, and is one I only recommend using if you want to try something a bit different, but I find it fun seeing all the purple numbers. I like giving Cookie tenacity of a Millilith because all the others benefit from the extra attack, but if you wanted to use Jean you could do, because she can hold 4-piece Viridus and Venera. Alternatively, if you want to play more risky, you could use Kazuha. As far as a score out of 10 goes, I'd say the introduction of Dendro has brought her up to a 7.5. She isn't needed in any team, but can be used in a lot. She isn't the best option for any, but with her defense shred and weapon options, she can provide all kinds of utility. Everyone gets her for free, she works well at C0, she's easy to build, you can level her burst and ignore her normals and skill, and she'll work fine. Her constellations are in the Star Glitter Star, a lot of benefits, but not a lot of drawbacks. 
If you enjoyed this video, I've got another coming soon with a bunch of Yolan teams, so subscribe if you want to see that and take it easy.